госпожа Беллинхерст. Именно вы тот представитель Метрополитен Опера, который курирует контакты с Мариинским театром буквально с момента их зарождения. Сегодня далеко не все знают, как и когда началось это сотрудничество. Может быть, вы немного расскажете? And uh, that was the very first time I started working with Valery Gergiev. And he made his American opera debut at the San Francisco Opera with The War and Peace. Then we also did a co-production of Ruslan and Udmila, which I think you still play here at the um, Mariinsky. And um, then 16 years ago, I moved to the Metropolitan Opera. And at that time, Valeri was made the principal guest conductor of the Metropolitan Opera. So we worked on many, many things together at the Metropolitan Opera. Uh, many projects, many operas. Um, really, this year, a new Boris Godunov that we're doing with Rene Papa and an all-Russian cast, all from the Mariinsky. And last year, very, very successful new production of uh, The Nose. And um, then we are, I've also been very involved in helping present the Mariinsky Ballet, or the Kirov Ballet, as it was then known many times at the Metropolitan Opera, with the Lincoln Center Festival and the Metropolitan Opera. Um, so we go back a very long way, 20 years in fact, It's 20 years since I first came to the Mariinsky and came to St. Petersburg. And I've been back 19 or 20 times since then. Когда вы впервые приглашали в Сан-Франциско молодого дирижера Валерия Гергиева, был в этом для вас как менеджера какой-то элемент риска? Absolutely not, because the moment you heard him, you knew that he was absolutely brilliant and a genius conductor and it was a great coup for us to have him. And uh, at the Metropolitan Opera, he's conducted many, many things. I mean, many different things from Otello to Don Carlo to all the Russian repertoire, wonderful on Yegan with Dmitry Vorostovsky and Rene Fleming, which is on a DVD. Um, Don Carlo he conducted, Valkyrie he conducted, Salome, uh, which is also on DVD with Carita Matala. Many, many things at the Metropolitan Opera. Фестиваль «Звезды белых ночей» завершен. Сезон закрывается. Почему же вы оказались в Петербурге именно сейчас? Well, we are here because we're going to do a new production in uh, 2013 of Prince Igor. And as you probably know, Prince Igor is quite problematic as far as the actual version is concerned. And Valery is going to conduct it and Ilda Abrazakov is going to sing Prince Igor and uh, uh, Maestro Gergius was very anxious that Peter Gelb, who is the head of the Metropolitan Opera, and Dmitry Chernikov, who most likely will direct it, who directed your Invisible City of Kitesh here and some other things, and I actually come and see the version that the Mariinsky does, which is a different version from the one that is in the recording and is in the DVD. So we're here specifically to see that, then to talk with uh, Maestro Gegev, with Chernikov, and actually work out which version of Prince Igor we're going to do. Because it'll be a very, very important new production for us. Um, and the choreographer will be Alexei Ratmansky, who, uh, as you know, is a, did your hump, little humpback horse and other things for the ballet here. So it'll be a very major, huge production for us, and we want to make sure that we have the correct version and one that Maestro Gergiev is very happy with.